collection of Kilgan dance and drums. My name is William Kiyama, a director of the PSU Taiko Ensemble. This year, we're especially thrilled to share the stage with guest artist Shigeyama Ippe, and of course, the theater and dance students of Professor Larry Komets. The first piece that we perform for you today is Isami Goma, a traditional work that is canonic for many taiko groups, not only uh, in North America, but also in Japan as well. The PSU Taiko Ensemble performs traditional works, uh, but we also perform contemporary compositions, and we encourage new student compositions. So for the past two quarters, we have been developing a piece called Call, and I would like to introduce you to the composer, second year music education major, Kaya Hellman. I first joined this ensemble back at the beginning of the year in fall term, and I have really fallen in love with taiko drums. And I drew from my previous experience as a doombed drummer, which is what the drum I was actually trained on, which is a Middle Eastern instrument, um, to create the piece you are about to hear, which is a combination of kind of rhythms with a certain Middle Eastern influence, plus what I thought would sound good versus uh, doombed versus the taiko. Um, the reason it's called call is, well, uh, each chorus is almost like kind of, it kind of calls out and then each verse kind of answers it. At least that's what I was going for. Um, and yes, I hope you enjoy it. This is Calm.
beautiful signage by Sora Shodo. Where are you, Sora? There you are, stand up briefly. Our fabulous connector from Sora Shodo. The next piece, to Kyogen in English, Busu.
Right you are. Confetti for me. Right. <laughs>
Will that solve our problem? It will, it will. In that case, I'll tear it up. Zadadi! Zadadi! Basadi! There, I tore it into shreds. What? You're a bad boy, <laughs> What do you mean? First, you ate up all the busu. And now, that heavy scroll, which was a priceless treasure, is ruined. When the master comes home, I'll tell him you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Harry Sky? Well, you're the one who told me to rip it up. And when the master gets home, I'll tell him all about it. Now, wait, wait. That was just another joke. I already told you. Now is not the time for jokes. What are we going to do for an excuse? Tear up that big china vase. <laughs> no way. Why? You'll tell on me, right? <laughs> Fine. Let's get together and smash it. Right you are. Come over here. Ready? Ready. A, A, Iatona. For this, we'll need three lips. And on the third, we let it go. Right. Iate. That was one. Iate. That was two. This is the important one. Don't forget to drop it. I won't forget to drop it. Iate. Got it. It's smashed. It's in Dumb. When the master comes home, burst into tears. Will that solve our problem? It will, it will. Oh, look, he's back already. Let's sit down. Right. My business is over, and I'll hurry home. I suppose Taro and Jiro are eagerly awaiting my return. What? I'm home already. He's back, let's cry. Hey, Taro, Jiro, I'm home. Something is wrong. You should be happy to see your master return. If something has happened, please let me know immediately. Jiro, you tell him. No, Taro, you tell him. I don't care who tells me, but somebody tell me what is going on. In that case, I guess I'll tell you. We knew he had important work to do, guarding the house, and we knew he shouldn't fall asleep. So, I sumo wrestled Jiro to keep awake, but he was stronger than me and threw me. So I grabbed onto that hanging scroll. And there, that's what's become of it. <laughs> you are wrestling to stay away, and you tore my precious scroll? And then we had a rematch, and tore me onto that big china face, and there, it smashed a bit. My precious Chinese face is in pieces. Hey, you two, worthless, wretched. You do not deserve to live! We knew we deserved to die. So we <laughs> ourselves by eating the busu. <laughs> my delicious, my delicious busu completely devoured. You, no good, you scoundrels! <laughs> we took one mouth. But we didn't die. No. Two mouthfuls, and still we didn't die. <laughs> Three mouthfuls, four mouthfuls, still we didn't die. Even after five mouthfuls, still we couldn't.
started off with that. Now we're going to do Kyogen in Japanese.
They're growing bigger every day. I can see that. Why did this happen? How could this happen? Too much calcium in your diet? Who would want to bribe horns? A hunter. Be serious, will you? I am. Fifteen years of perfect child. Quiet, obedient, talented. Now, just as she reaches marrying age, this happens. What to do, what to do, what to do. We could disguise her. How? Even if we lock her away, the neighbors already know and will ask where she has gone. She has already begun exchanging poetry with suitors. What if someone comes to the house on a visit? What if she's found? She'll be chased away, lost in the woods, eaten by wild beasts. What? Attacked by wolves. No. Fall of a cliff. No. Shot like a real deer. No, 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 no. This is terrible, a disaster, the most horrible. Calm down. Okay. okay. We say she has fallen ill and must stay inside. All right. That will satisfy most of the nosy neighbors. <laughs> but what if someone comes to the house on a visit and peeks into her room? The shape will give her away. We say she misses the trees and put branches in her room to comfort her. That will hide the shape of the antlers. Okay. But what of her attendants? They are already worried about her and know that something is wrong, since they reported to us the bumps on her forehead when they were merely little doves. We cannot keep them from her for much longer. You simply tell them, if they speak with anyone about our daughter's problem, you will kill them. <laughs> this just might work. <laughs> Yes, yes we should. I will call her attendance now. Ume Sakura, come here. Yes. You called for us, my lord? Yes. I must warn you, my daughter has taken a serious affliction. And if anyone else finds out about this, I will kill both of you. <laughs> we would never dream of betraying you or Our Lady. Good. Good. As the days progress, the lumps on her forehead that you had alerted us to have grown and developed into antlers. <laughs> How strange. Oh, no. Indeed. You two are to decorate her room with branches and cover up her antlers while we find a mountain wizard to cure them. <laughs> what a clever solution. Yes, I'm happy I stayed calm and thought of this clever plan. <laughs>
but these decorations will look quite lovely in her room. Hey, do you think once her antlers fall off, we can keep them? <laughs> Perhaps, if she likes them enough. It's a good thing that the blossoms are in bloom right now, or they wouldn't be as pretty. Spring is beautiful this time of year. If you think about it, her antlers look like winter the trees during the winter, don't you think? Indeed, they do. Sakura, I have an idea on how to better hide our lady. What? What? We get the flowers from the tree and place them in our lady's antlers. Then, even if someone were to see, they'll think they're branches. <laughs> That's a great idea. They'll at least make Lady Yuka feel better about having those nubs interrupt her life. Do you think this is enough? Hmm. Yes, I suppose so. Let us return to our lady. lady of this house writes such pleasant poetry and replies to me with such kind words. Although she denies her beauty, I find myself drawn to her home while on my way to hunt in the forest. <laughs> I know she said to stay away, but someone who composes so sweetly must be quite beautiful. I'll just peek in at her and then slip away. I will lean my bow on this tree and sneak in. <laughs> These branches are in the way. I'll have to go in further to see. What a vision! How strange she sleeps with branches on her back. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Oh no, what are you doing here? Those aren't branches. This is horrible. Don't look at me. I don't care about the beasts in the cliffs. I'll hide in the woods until these horrid things fall out. 
Thank you. Can I ask for another round of applause for Zachary Rock, our teacher? traditional Japanese instrument, uh, but it is one of the instruments that uh, the students uh, performed, uh, so we decided to add it into our Shishimai dance. Uh, our final piece we'll perform for you uh, is called Ha, and this is a contemporary work uh, written by Karen Tingi and Christy Oshiro of Portland Taiko. Uh, Christy Oshiro, coincidentally, is a graduate of Portland State University. Speaking of graduation, we have a couple of students in the ensemble who will be finishing their group degrees this year. We're very happy for them. So graduates, can you please raise your hand? Congratulations again, and we wish you all the best in your post-PSU life. So again, we have one more piece. Ha, we hope that you enjoy it, and we hope that you enjoy course, the rest of the show. Uh, thank you again.
very special guest, and we knew that more people were going to want to see him, uh, a professional Kyogen actor from Kyoto, Japan. Shigeyama Ippe is joining us. Um, he... He comes from a 14-generation family Kyogen enterprise. So going back to the early Edo period, the Shigeyama family has been doing Kyogen, uh, most of that uh, from the mid-Edo period on in Kyoto. famous gambler who lives in this part of the city. These days, though, my luck has been terrible. All I've done is lose, lose, and lose again. I lost all of my money, and I even lost my only sword as a gambling debt. In this condition, there is no way I can go home. I decided I moved to another province. <laughs> But, before I set out on my journey, I'll pay a call to one of my gambler friends and consult with him what I should do next. I'll hurry on my way. Of course I know I should have pulled out of this game that last time, but I can't believe it. I could win in the next round, and if not, that in the round after that, I was as greedy as always, and in the end, all other players walked off with everything I owe. Oh, here I am, at my friend's house. Hey, hey, are you there? Are you in? What's that? I hear a voice outside the gate. Who's there? It's me. Oh, it's you, is it? <laughs> yeah, and I had a terrible stream of bad luck. Just what I heard happened to you. You're right. Recently, my luck's been terrible. I lost every time I played. Now I'm in such a bad way. There's no way for me to play and get it back. What are you going to do now? I'm in the same bind as you are. Anyway, there is no way I can go home. I decided I move to another province. What are you going to do now? Actually, I've been waiting for you to come back so I can ask you about a plan that I've been thinking of. What sort of a plan? This is what I've been thinking of. You know, I still have some accoutrements lying around that I took from a Buddhist Deva Guardian King statue. I'll dress you up like a guardian king and then go all around the neighborhood telling everyone that a Deva King statue suddenly descended from heaven and landed on the field at Bueno. <laughs> if I tell enough people, there are certain to be some that want to worship this miraculous statue. They are sure to make generous donations along with their prayers. And we can use their largesse to escape the predicament we're in now. What do you think of this plan? This is a great plan! <laughs> Please, dress me up as a Deva King right away! Right. You get ready to change clothes. I will. I feel terrible that I didn't pull out when I should have. 
Here, put on this cap. Right. It's like the old saying says, the less skillful person is, the more reckless he becomes. No question about it. <laughs> All right, stand up. We have one final touch.
such a terrible housekeeper. They never do any household chores. <laughs> Almighty David King, I bestow upon you this dishcloth made of solid gold thread. Please, turn my spouse into the greatest housekeeper in all the land. Hail, Almighty David King. Since that's the case, 
I'll go get him and bring him back to pray later. All right. Our homes lie along the same road, so we'll go home with you. Yes, let's, let's go, go home, home with you. So are you all going home? Yes, but we'll come again to worship the David King later. I have an errand to run, so I'll go back into town a little later after I'm done. <coughs> you go on home ahead of me. <coughs> Many years struggling down the road of life. 
<laughs> After you have cured me, I will be able to work hard and make money, and I will return with an offering of thanks for your kindness. Please, please, work your miraculous powers on my behalf. Oh, oh my goodness! The Devakin is moving! How can this be? Hey, wait! I just noticed something strange. When we came and prayed the first time, the statue's mouth was closed. <laughs> now it's open. You're right, the statue was going, mmm, and now it's going, ah. <laughs> I think.
よ。名の役師、グリコウニョライ、何とぞ、よいよ妻様を授けてくだされ。あらありがたや、あらありがたや。おおいつまいっても心身とした死者はさわなお前でござるさらばおよいはこれにて通夜をいたそうと存ずる<笑> What's that you say? Can that be right? Can that be true? My husband took advantage of my visit to my parents and sent a letter of divorce. And on top of that, you're telling me that he's just gone to Inaba Temple to pray for a new wife? The more you tell me, the angrier it makes me. I'm going to go there now to find out if these reports are true or false. Now it's true that he's as worthless as they get. Go into a copse of trees and kick the trunks, and five or six men of his ilk will fall out the branches. <laughs> Still, when I realize that he's left me, I get so angry I feel like I'm on fire. What's this? I've come all the way to Inaba Temple while I was talking. <laughs> I wonder where that man can.
どこもとにいらぬことじゃしる
まいりましょうかと申したれば、また嬉しそうに。
Oh dear. <laughs> 